All right. Loser semis. Uh, let's see. Who did Dilla have to beat after Looney? Looney Jesus, DQ win. Did Louie have to leave? That sucks. Well, or maybe just didn't want to deal with that. I don't know. I'm kidding. Uh, you know, MGW moves a lot too, but he not not as a not as wildly. So we can we can zoom in the camera. Uh, guys, is this not the worst Greninja color? And if it isn't, please tell me in chat what you think the worst Greninja color is. And because it's definitely this one, I'm just saying. Purple's a good color. I don't know about this one. Though. This palette, mm, I don't know. I think there's much better Greninja uh, colors than this. Not a fan. All right, but MGW uh, really focused. Now we got some even game, uh, even percents right here. Now we got pulling ahead a little bit. Ooh, didn't get the shuriken out in time. Uh, the, the positioning for it just wasn't there. Um, and, and falling into that nair, and I looked away, and Dill has taken the stock. Let's uh, see in like, my tiny little personal replay. Dex him with the forward tilt. Then put yeah puts Gyro on the ledge and knocks him to uh, Rob Fair forward smash I mean and uh, speaking of Fair though uh, MGW able to take Dill's first stock with that Fair all right MGW you can take out you gotta watch you dance in that box I guess I don't know uh, Black Sheep so some characters are blessed with get up attack beating the Gyro and some are not so Greninja might be the ones that are not. Uh, for example, we fit and Bowser can get up attack the gyro and not trade with it. Uh, but all three Pokemon trainer Pokemon cannot beat it. I guess Greninja probably doesn't beat it. Uh, um, and uh, yeah. Did I tweet the match yet? I have not. You guys are distracted. Last stock, uh, MGW is getting some pretty, some pretty decent damage on Dill right now. Uh, already, at, oh, decent damage. Maybe the W instead. Ah, uh, look at her face. Yeah, I can't stand that. <laughs> MGW in the zone. That was kind of OD. Let's see that again. That was like the whole bit. Oh, wait, was it not? Oh, did I do it too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we see the forward smash. Oh, hold on, hold on. Dill's just like, damn. God damn. And then, uh, let's see, well, how was Ant? He was just like, mmm. Right? And then. <laughs> hold on. We got Dill's like, oh! Oh no! It's pretty funny. <sighs> Very good. Good play uh, by MGW, taking the first game, uh, getting rid of Smashville and Hollow Bastion. Okay, so this is not like really a matchup specific thing. He just gets rid of those stages in general. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I guess it makes sense like for the, the same stuff that we've touched on before because it covers like majority of the stage and uh, most importantly center. Uh, you know, uh, not being able to do 50-50s with how you come down uh, can be really detrimental to like how Greninja plays. Uh, all right, so uh, Dill opting to counter pick to Battlefield. Game one was on Battlefield. And where did MGW stock go? Let's see. Dill's at zero. 
Ah, the late hit of the laser and then just spikes. Okay. All right. Still, still at zero. Uh, still, uh, MGW has awoken the beast, I guess. I gotta say, I'm being a little bit distracted by how much MGW is moving in the camera. It's very funny. Love to see it. Okay, Dill only taking 60% so far, and he's already at 130. All right, Dill holding center. All right, uh, relinquished center, but didn't uh, didn't hand it over, and it was just like covering both sides of the gyro and and Rob. Ooh, reads the jump, stuffs it and with the up air, and now three socks to one, and also not even 100%. This is not looking good uh, for game two for MW. Dill really went okay, but you know we'll see how much that uh, translates to the rest of the set. Uh, while it might be easy to sign off this game to Dill, uh, oh, can't. Count MGW out was able to get that W with a pretty sick read, pretty good route, good setup. Dill, all right, being a little bit disrespectful and throwing out these uh, these up smashes. All right, yep, yeah, using the hydro pump to her advantage and restock. Okay. Uh, MGW was having a good time though. Well, well, he was. I promised you guys he was smiling before I went to that. Okay, he's kind of smiling. All right. Yeah. My man's is in it still. He's in the zone. He's in the zone. I like to see that. You got to stay positive even after the losses because uh, you don't want it to let it consume you. This was unfortunate. God damn. That's what really set things up. Because, uh, like, you had Dill's at zero, so now you're playing from a full stock deficit and then still not at 177 uh, entering his last stock. And then right here, the, the up air. 146 after hit. Wow. All right. So Dill, banning FD. And that's it, I guess. Because now they're just talking. They're just chatting. I'm sorry. You see those empty mics in the center of the screen? Those, those mic holders? I really should put the mics back. Because, you know, when we're kind of lean on commentary, and by that I mean it's me. Uh, I wouldn't mind just listening to the players. Cussies or not, you know? All right. <laughs> the man trying to be zen with it. Being like, uh, Dill, would you mind uh, putting your second band in, please? Thank you. Dill's like, hmm, I don't know. I'm going to take my second, uh, my sweet time. All right, getting rid of FD in town. All right, we're going to Kalos. Uh, interesting pick. Using the fact that like you have wall cling, wall cling is a fantastic addition uh, for like for characters uh, on pillar stages because like you get to do so many mix-ups. Like you now have access to even if you grab the ledge, you can do back off wall cling, and it, because it's a wall cling, you immediately turn around, so you can do back off ledge. Uh, wall cling back air, rising back air, uh, as like a different sort of getup attack, and that's really uh, that's a, it's just a great mix-up tool. Um, also, like you know, you can stall. There's it, like a lot of variance with how you can uh, recover. And Greninja was already a character that like didn't really struggle uh, too much on recovering, so this just adds a little bit more to that. Um, it's an open space. Uh, similar to like how he wants to do the game plan with FD, with the added bonus of those side platforms, uh, because now you can do some trap landings with forward air. Because like as opposed to the other platforms, like these don't obstruct like the center part of the stage, so uh, you can uh, uh, you can you kind of get the best of both worlds for the this archetype. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Uh, Dill taking the first stock. Um, only taking 60%. Now, so the other thing about this stage that is not 
great against Rob is the fact that it has like Battlefield Blast Zones. Uh, it's very large. Um, and because Rob is a heavy, you know, he's going to live a little bit longer, and that can be really detrimental. You see, uh, that forward tilt would have killed, uh, like, a normal, like, ledge to blast zone rate, uh, distance. But because we're on Kalos, a little bit further, uh, you, you really live long on this stage. Uh, still getting tossed around, but it doesn't matter. Ooh, okay. Almost had something. Oh, my God. That, that, that slow roll, I didn't even... Realize that immediately. Nice. All right, yeah, keeping her strained, not letting Rob come back. Ooh, blast zone's working against. Okay. Watching Rob do that in slow motion was really weird. All right, so we we're able to get it to. I'm not going to finish that. Uh, sentence. Still with a full stock lead. The dash attack. He actually caught like jump squat. Still trying to, to rise up. Boom. That was, this is really good pressure from MGW. And using the platforms to extend uh, the strings and just keeping the pressure on. That was looking really grim for Dill and looking really good for MGW. And honestly, like, if he was not, if he had gotten that kill, if he gets the kill now, still in a pretty good situation. 70 damage is definitely a deficit, but it's still low enough where you're not going to just, like, die immediately. So you can, you can kind of bring this back. You got to win the next few turns. Uh, and not get thrown off the stage. Making it off the ledge before Dill's able to set up with the, the gyro. You can't stay on ledge too long, and MGLB doing just that. It's very good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! The minigame. The 2v1. Stares intently. That was looking really good. But... It wasn't enough. Uh, you got to be aware of those setups. If if the if the gyro is like roll distance away from Rob, just get out of there. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Stop the battle. I guess I'll just zoom out till just so they match like framing. All right, so opting to run it back to Kalos. Uh, I mean, honestly, sometimes you got to be the change. Uh, you got to be the change you want to see, not not your environment. Uh, you know, need more time here uh, and take take it slow. So yeah, I understand. There, was a, there wasn't really anything Kalos specific to like how you lost that was like, oh, I got real. I accidentally counterpicked myself. No, no, it was just regular interactions. Um, the one thing I will say that probably worked against him, though, is the Blast Zones. I, actually, you know, the more I think about that, I feel like maybe the Blast Zones would maybe reconsider the, the pick. Maybe pick Small Battlefield instead. Uh, pretty sure they're the same size. I'm going to just double check that. Because uh, Kalos actually isn't, like, larger. Yeah, they're the same size, so uh, you would just have. I mean, I, I it's the plat it's the platforms really. Um, it's just the platform placement that like why Greninja would want to go here. I understand. It's just like the do the blast zones do uh, more damage than the than the stage layout helps. You know, first stock uh, going to Dill. Uh, on this potentially final game. Uh, Joe is going to have to switch something up. Got to get this kill soon. Dill's at 160, knocking on death's door, and now racking up some, you know, 
some sizable percent. And again, I, I, I feel like that's the Blast Zone kind of working against, uh, against him. But able to seal it out anyway, going off. And evening up the, the stops. So 40%, that's nothing. This is even right now. Okay, dead even percent, we're in uh, you know, just 60% range, nothing really is going to lead to a kill. Like the only thing that would be on deck right now would just be like, like the Rob, the, the meme setups, you know? So, is my son going to join me on commentary? Ah shit, alright, I'm Devin3000 and this is, yo, let's go, mm, alright, so. Wait, hold on. Actually, I don't. Now you're on. Hey, uh, Looney. <laughs> let's go, Looney Tunes. Hey. But I, I'm glad MGW took a game. I, 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 bro, I'm telling you, I have faith in my son. He was a sleeper pick this tournament. So, uh, MGW took the first game, and Dill took the last two. The, the, the next, the subsequent games. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yes. That's good. Yeah, my, my son. Uh. MDW pulling up. I, I kind of wish I uh, got to play him in the tournament. I played him a little bit friendly. But yeah, this this one, this is a match we haven't seen in a while. Like, uh, Rob vs. Greninja. I mean, it's a match good. you don't see Greninja's period, but... Oh. Ooh, oh, all right. I, I, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This might this this might not be looking good for your hero. Yeah, nah, it's uh, I I just like that's one thing mm -hmm. I I love about Dale, man. Once she like, oh, that was so scouted, bro. That's one thing I like about uh um uh Dale is that she's a uh, once she like gets her groove, she really uh, like you know yeah no stays Dil, in that shit. Dale's download is kind of od. Yeah, Dale's Dil, download is wild, and it's just her groove. Like once she kind of like gets in the groove, she gets like the creative juices flowing. When she's locked in, it's yeah. kind of od. I feel like I'm the same way too, but it's, it's that brawl zen status, bro. Nah, it's that zoner uh, oh, grenade right. oh, play, right. yeah, okay. item play yeah, status. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm. I'm glad that the prophecy is coming true. Well, low key coming true. Yeah. Okay. Helper, so. unfortunately, got smoked. MJW gave him the work. I'm yeah, he like, did. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm